Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about the Alaskan Malamute. The rugged Alaskan Malamute is a working dog, best suited to people who love the great outdoors. The sled dogs were bred to haul heavy loads thanks to their powerful physiques. Alaskan Malamutes are used to a pack and tribe setting, which explains why they're reasonably sociable. The American Kennel Club says everything about Mal's points to their origin as an arctic sled dog, including the heavy bone, deep chest, powerful shoulders, and dense, weatherproof coat. Malamutes usually shed twice a year at the changing of the seasons. They're not a hypoallergenic dog breed. These large northern canines are the 58th most popular dog breed in the USA, according to the American Kennel Club. In this video, we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of the Alaskan Malamute breed. Firstly let's check out the pros. Intelligence. Alaskan Malamutes have a reputation for being intelligent dogs. These sled dogs were ranked at number 50 in the famous Intelligence of Dogs book. They thrive with a task to complete, putting their IQ to use. This breed usually has an inner confidence when making decisions and likes to be independent thinkers. To get the best out of your Alaskan Malamute pup, you'll want to take your Mal to puppy manners and obedience classes. They are super smart once you find what works for your pet and invest time in training them well as pups it pays dividends for years to come. Loyalty. Alaskan Malamutes have a pack mentality, which in turn creates a deep loyalty to their family members. Let's not forget the Alaskan Malamute were bred by the Malamute Inupiaq tribe to play an important role in the day-to-day -day lives of these nomads. In doing so, an incredible bond was forged between dog and human. Generally speaking, this northern breed will develop a strong bond with the family members. This adoration means Malamutes will do their utmost to protect the unit. Having said that, these Alaskan dogs are still friendly with new people and new dogs. They are super loyal. You are their world, they will die for you. Protection. Although Alaskan Malamutes are a friendly breed, they can also act as adept protecting dogs. The northern dogs are large, males can weigh up to 85 pounds, females can weigh up to 75 pounds. They'll usually grow to a height between 23 and 25 inches. These are big dogs whose stature alone should be enough to warn off any unwanted intruders. Their loyalty to the family means they'll do what it takes to protect those in their pack. They're very protective and generally make good guard dogs if needed. Pack mentality. These sled dogs have a pack mentality. Although owning one Alaskan Malamute is perfectly acceptable, you may find two Malamutes together will make life that little bit more exciting for your dogs and owners. The breed was bred to work together to haul heavy loads over long distances as part of a pack. Therefore, they're used to being around other Malamutes and large dogs. If you look at some big Malamute accounts on Instagram, you'll notice that they usually come in pairs, or in some cases, threes, fours or more. Speaking from my experience with my Alaskan Clay Kai, companion-sized northern dogs, a second dog will usually make life a little easier. The American Kennel Club do have a warning for Malamute owners. Mals are pack animals. And in your family, pack, the leader must be you. But they do work well together, it's good to have more than one for a pack life. Playfulness. These striking dogs have a playful side that will put a smile on the faces of their owners and everyone they meet. Alaskan Malamutes are often described as cheerful dogs. They can be great playmates. For this reason, they do well in a home with older children. Due to their sheer size, they may not be a good fit for families with very young children or elderly people. However, this could be a personal preference after some careful consideration. The American Kennel Club writes. A well-behaved Mal is a joy to be with, playful, gentle, friendly, and great with kids. You can get into sports with him, rallying, racing, sledding, and mountain climbing. 
Now it's time for some of the cons. Hard to train. While Alaskan Malamutes are smart dogs, they're not necessarily easy to train. The breed has a reputation for being independent thinkers with a stubborn streak. Therefore, you'll want to bring your Malamute to training from early puppyhood in order to establish basic obedience and some ground rules. The American Kennel Club offers some advice on this potential issue. If a Mal doesn't respect you, he will wind up owning you instead of the other way around. Firm but loving training should begin in early puppyhood. They do take a lot longer to train than some breeds as they are so stubborn. It's not that they aren't intelligent but they often choose to ignore you after a while. Ability to overpower. Due to their sheer size, Alaskan Malamutes can easily overpower their owners. It's something to consider, especially if you're a lightweight individual attempting to handle one or more of these sled dogs. Given they can weigh up to 80 pounds, although some are even heavier than this, you'll want to ensure you've got their ear. It comes back to training. Two can be very hard to handle if you have them on leads and a squirrel runs past or something. They can overpower you quite easily. You can expect to be dragged down hills into puddles, lakes, and all sorts due to their sheer strength. Require a lot of exercise. You won't be surprised to learn that Alaskan Malamutes require a substantial amount of exercise. These northern dogs have a lot of energy, which makes sense given Malamutes were bred to pull loads on sleds. You'll want to ensure your Alaskan Malamute gets around 90 minutes of exercise a day. Some of the activities that Mals will enjoy include hiking, running, and swimming. Regular exercise could help to dissuade your Malamute from naughty behavior inside the home. Expensive to ensure. Alaskan Malamutes are large dogs that can leave a large dent in your wallet. These northern dogs aren't cheap to ensure. It's something that pet owners will need to consider before they bring home one of these magnificent dogs. The insurance will creep up as these big dogs get older too. Expensive to feed. They're not cheap to insure, and they're not cheap to feed, either. You'll want to make sure you're giving your Alaskan Malamutes a diet that provides all the nutrients these dogs need to be happy and healthy. The American Kennel Club adds that they should do well on high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home prepared with your veterinarian supervision and approval. If you were to provide them with freshly cooked meals from a dog food delivery company, you could pay £95 a month. That equates to nearly £1,200 a year on dog food. Shedding. Alaskan Malamutes shed heavily twice a year. Malamute has a thick, dense coat that needs regular grooming. Extra grooming is required when Malamute molts heavily and you will notice that the dog's hair comes out in clumps. Alaskan Malamute requires frequent brushing to prevent mats and tangles from forming. Use a slicker or firm bristle brush daily to keep Malamute's coat in good condition and to minimize the chance of developing hot spots, painful skin lesions, that can form in the matted area. Conclusion. Before taking on the commitment of being a Malamute owner, you need to carefully consider all the potential pros and cons and decide whether this breed of dog is right for your household. Be prepared to invest a lot of time in training and exercising your dog, and you will be rewarded with a lot of love and loyalty.